Hey girls, this is Brett and today I want to share with you some winter health tips because it is very cold outside probably unless you live in like Australia <laughs> where it's hotter than <laughs> but um, like I made up all these winter health tips that I've been sending out via email oh and by the way if I call y'all girls that's to give balance because everyone else calls everyone guys hey you guys I don't get it <laughs> so I'm gonna recreate balance by calling everyone girls but um, in any case the first thing is something that's not even on the list and it's some hot tea that I'm drinking mmm Mm. Just right. Just barely able to drink, you know, so that it really warms the esophagus. Ah! Okay, so I've been sending these out via email, so you may have already gotten one of these if you've purchased my products before. But number one is get outside any time the weather breaks and get some exercise. Breathe. Ah! There's more oxygen outside. It's because you've been using it all inside, especially if you live in a little place like this. Luckily, this one is very breezy in here when the wind is blowing, like it is right now. But um, especially in winter, dress warm with layers. I love to walk every day, and Chakra, my dog, you know, really needs it too. Number two. Hot soups are warming and very helpful for keeping you warm. Root veggies like parsnips, turnips, rutabaga, and onion are excellent for creating a warming thermal condition in your body. And you'll learn about warming thermal conditions and which foods make you cool and which foods make you warmer if you read the book Healing with Whole Foods by Paul Pitchford, the man. <clears throat> Add garlic and spices. Garlic and onions, you know, they make make your, your mind, like, think more, you know, kind of uncontrollably, <laughs> so don't use too much of it. But they're really important for detoxing your body. And, like, your liver and, um, and onions kill bugs. <clears throat> Number three, find a group to hang out with. Loneliness and cabin fever can creep up on you and make you depressed. Sometimes you just have to force yourself to be social and just do it. Okay, so the reason I moved to this little unique jewel in the country where I live in North Carolina is because there's a lot of activity like this. And last night I went to the potluck and sing-along like open mic and I performed a couple of songs and it was really really fun and um, it was great to listen to all the incredible talent here you know this is like um, a lot of people just sit around and play their instruments and stuff at home and that's why people have become such great musicians and so many incredible musicians come from these hillbilly hills and so it was just really fun to do that last night. But the social aspect of getting out and jabbering with people, you know, is very important for the mind. So get on like meetup.com. At noon, I'm joining a meetup group called, and um, I'm going to join them on Skype. Because I don't want to drive all the way to Asheville, but I'm gonna, they're going to join with me on Skype an hour of this like progressive spirituality is that cool or what okay <clears throat> number four meditate pray or sit peacefully each day focus quiet time brings you back to the center where God is I love to watch Muji on YouTube for spirituality number five Read a book. Right now I'm learning a new profession. Astrology. Loving it. Also, I'm reading a book on the Tao Te Ching by Wayne Dyer. It's fantastic. It's the second time I've written, read it. I'm also learning about straw bale building. So like here's some of the books that I'm reading right now. The Inner Sky by Stephen Forrest. 
fantastic classic. Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. I'm reading that again because, like, you can probably read that ten times. And this new one, Straw Bale Building. How to plan, design, and build with straw. <laughs> yeah. See, I like things that, like, help me to achieve better things in my life. And books. I love books. Like, Kindles may be cool, but a real peaceful piece of wood. A real peaceful piece of wood. I mean, real books are never going to go out of fashion because they're just nice. Okay. Change your furnace filter. A lot of you have those ducts that blow hot air through your house. And you have a furnace with a filter in it, and that filter needs to be changed. So, you can buy an 88 cent filter that just filters like hairs. <laughs> or you can buy for like 20 or 30 or even 40 dollars a top quality one that will filter down to less than 3 microns, which is really, really small. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, all that dust in the winter time that's blowing through your ducts, and the ducts get the the ducts get like clogged with ducts dust too. That's a tongue twister. And you can get those ducts cleaned out, and you can watch videos on how to clean your ducts out by, on your own. But um, definitely put some good filters on your furnace filter. Okay, number seven. Buy my fantastic pillows, yoga bolsters, orthotics, back rollers, or other products. And I also sell massage bolsters. You'll love using my products and they'll help you to feel so much better. Brett'sNaturalHealth.com Check out my orthotics. I've got them in my Merrells. Look at that support. Woo! Just look at that support, baby. They need to eat. I need to add a little bit more holes to them, too. That's the beauty of them. They're totally adjustable because you open the zipper and put millet holes in them. And once in a while, you have to, to dump the millet holes out and put new ones in there or add a little bit more, but they're totally adjustable. And that's why my orthotics are the best in the world, just like my freaking pillows are the best in the world. There's an arm pillow too. I'm gonna put those on sale pretty soon. But these pillows, oh my God, they're heavy and supportive and the best effing pillow ever. Especially now that they're 100% organic. So I wanna thank you so much for joining me. Peace, love, and happy 2018. <laughs>